به هر کسی من از عمومی استفاده بکنه از عمومی اصیل اینه انسان باید شد لذت ببره بخشی از مثلا مدیریت شهری رو واگذار کنیم به مردم But then, once we move to other cities and towns, we need to maintain a more intimate scale. We can do the cities of the city in a way that people can be in the presence, they can be in the presence. If we are good planners, we are starting from the problems. And together with the community, local communities, to find the solution. I would, I would start by suggesting that maybe in the last uh, two decades and particularly in the last 10 years, the whole notion of uh, metropolitan cities, mega cities, uh, becoming really dominant in our discourse talking about cities. My point is that we need to be very careful about that in the sense that not every single city can be a metropolitan city, okay? But we fall into the trap, and speaking of urban management, a lot of urban managers, a lot of politicians, they have a model, they have a dream that my city should be a metropolitan city. Why we have this as a goal? Why we have this as a dream? I would argue that in every country, maybe you can have two or three metropolitan cities. But once you move from this scale, you want to move to a scale where literally can be sustainable. Most of those mega metropolitan cities, they have excellent pace of development, but it's very hard for them to sustain sustainability. Particularly in the developing countries, we need to revisit the concept of the metropolitan city, the mega city, and to have one or two in the scale of the state and be proud of it. But then once we move to other cities and towns, we need to maintain a more intimate scale. This uh, shift that we have noticed during COVID-19, that all the main features of the metropolitan cities they are not used and people were in a dire need for different kind of urbanity maybe small public spaces gardens sidewalks uh, solidarity between people what kind of neighborhoods that you are designed so people can have much better uh, social relations i'm not against metropolitan cities but i uh, i would argue that we cannot have it as a model for every single city in the country, particularly in the case of Iran. We have a tendency to describe city every five years. Remember, we start a discourse about sustainable city, and then green city, and then smart city, and then resilient city, and then healthy city, and we keep on reciting all of these adjectives without posing and saying, well, wait a minute here. City is about a relation between people and places. Let's focus on that. Let's focus on making a wonderful relation between people and places. In our case in developing countries, in Iran, in the Middle East, city managers, professors, mayors, they are waiting for the new name. What is happening now? We need to go beyond the notion of names, adjectives, terminology, and focus on the essence of the relation. And the essence is relation between people and places. How to make people happy in cities. Since the postmodernism, we did realize that one size fits all is a fallacy. It's not working. You cannot have a universal solution like Mies van der Rohe and Walter Gobius and all these guys were saying, either on architectural level or urban level. The notion of poverty is crystallized 
in a rich community and also in a poor community. Here is that you cannot use the same mechanism and strategy to deal with the two situations. And if we understand that every single chapter in the history of the city is important, you don't need a universal solution. You have the full right to, to know what is happening in the world, to be exposed to what is happening in the world. But you have to write one more chapter in the story of your own city. Because of the global pressure, sometimes we turn our backs to our history. We turn our backs to the old chapters that we can learn from. To make a long story short, I think we need to believe in our cities. We need to believe in our people. And when we talk about development, we, we deal with it as if we are continuing the story rather than terminating the story and coming up with something new.